All right, guys, so this is part two of this video, and it has been a little bit of time because I've been waiting for the wheels to come in. Uh, we've had some issues with delivery. Of course, you know, COVID really set us back on things. So if you didn't already notice, there is a box behind me, and this was kind of one of the last things I wanted to do to this truck. It's actually not the last thing. It's no, They're never really done, you guys know that. But this is one thing that I've wanted to do to this truck since I got it, and I knew I was going to get rid of them. So, ha. Huh. Fooled you. That's the stock wheels. So I'm not gonna, I don't wanna give it away, but if you follow my Instagram, you're gonna already know what's up before this video goes live. But we did put a set of alpha commands on there. Uh, we got 17 by eight and a half, 20 millimeter offset. So pretty close to stock. I uh, did the math and I'm thinking it's about half an inch, roughly. Uh, that's how much you're adding to it. So you're adding half an inch of backspace. Uh, you're taking it away, per se. So you're gonna push the wheel out half an inch. So. I want to show you guys this real quick. It is kind of raining, but I want to show you guys this. This is this is really cool. So here you go. Bronze wheels on the rig now. They look sick. Super happy with them. They turned out really good. Fitment is like perfect. Uh, as far as rubbing, now that's one thing I want to talk about, and that's kind of like this second half of this uh, series on this video here is going to talk a little bit about rubbing. Of course, you saw earlier, we did the skids. Uh, we got all that tightened up and finished. We've got everything unboxed for the lot bar. I have not installed that yet. I was actually waiting for these to come in to make sure I don't have any clearance issues. So I figured, why not, you know, reveal the wheels and, uh, you know, make sure we're not rubbing or anything before I start doing any kind of cutting. I wanted to just see how everything worked out. That way I don't have to try and pull this off with the lot bar in there. I thought that would kind of be a pain. But there you go, guys. There's kind of a new wheel reveal. So these are alpha equipped. Uh, as you've seen on the label there, 17 by eight and a half, 20 millimeter offset. I think they complement the truck quite nice. I do like the bronze. It's something different. Uh, everybody does white on black and you don't see a lot of bronze. So I thought I would give them a shot. And a uh, little detail on these wheels, you know, that's what's, that's what's really awesome about these wheels is like the, the finer details, you know, how they've got the alpha engraving in there. Uh, the overall finish of the wheels is just super, super nice. Powder coat is really good. One thing I haven't quite understood yet, maybe someone can speak to this, is why you got two valve stems. I, I don't really, I'm not sure, maybe it's a mix up on these wheels, I have no idea. Uh, it looks like one's protected and one isn't. I'm not really sure what's going on there because if you bust a valve stem, you're going to lose your air. So, I don't know. But it does look cool. And, you know, the finish is awesome. Like I said, super thick coating on these wheels. Now, they do come out of Southern California. So, I had uh, Peak Suspension hook me up on these. So, uh, if you guys want to follow them on Instagram or go check out their website, Peak Suspension. Uh, it sells all kinds of stuff for ZR2s, Toyotas couple other things out there. I think the Ranger, they're working on stuff for that. They do coilovers. Really awesome group of guys. Um, you know, they, they was able to get me these wheels. Of course, COVID is setting things back. So if you're watching this, you're probably seeing about a three week delay. So my videos have been pretty scarce because of that. You know, parts are hard to come by and things don't show up on time. So that's why a lot of these videos are just not really happening. So that was a little update on the truck. Um, I wanted to go over that with you guys real quick before we uh, make a little clearance. So I know that's one thing that I wanted to touch on real quick was the rubbing. So stock wheels really didn't rub at all. 
Uh, I did have just some light rubbing and I took care of that. If you guys watch my other videos, you'll know I just came in and clearance that just a little bit. And if you're gonna run 285 70 17s with just a little bit of offset, you will need to clearance it just a touch more. So I'm gonna pull these, uh, you know, you got like little tabs that hold these in. I'm gonna take this screw out, get this flare kind of out of the way, and we'll see how much cutting we can do without just completely destroying this inner fender. So we're gonna get right to it. We've got a little bit of rain coming in here, but we're, you know what, we're dedicated. We're gonna send it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this apart. All right, guys, so before I get way ahead of myself, I just want to kind of show you what this actually looks like when you take this apart. So on a ZR2, if it'll focus, you can see there I've got this little plastic piece, which is like a, eh, just a thing to keep rock chips out of the way and all that good stuff. So what my plan is here is to just come in and trim this section right here. I'm going to cut this out and put this back over. I'm going to mark right through here. And it should pull this flare back a little bit. And actually, it's going to give me quite a lot of room. All right, guys. We got some weather moving in, unfortunately. It's kind of mean. But I did get the driver's side done. And I didn't have to completely gut this flare. And if you'll notice, the old flares on the ZR2 S10, they had to be gutted all the way up through here. Now, I'm still cleaning it up. But you can see I didn't completely gut this one. I was able to come kind of across and down. I still have the plastic liner that's on the back here uh, all in one piece, but I did kind of section that back so you can see what kind of difference that's going to make. Not having that material there versus having that material there should mean the difference in rubbing. You can see there's a lot of material out here. So once we cut all this off and just completely clearance that, it's going to take care of all, any rubbing that could possibly happen, I think. I'll have to put that to the test to confirm, and it doesn't look bad. It's not very noticeable, not much at all. So that's that's pretty cool. So not too bad, a little bit of plastic trimming. You can see kind of what I trimmed off, just to give you an idea. Now that was the plastic piece in behind it, which we don't really care about because I don't want to give it away, but AEV makes some really nice high mark flares. So I'm not too awfully concerned, and I don't want to cut this thing up completely not yet, but the AEV flares, as you guys know, are insane, and they look awesome. And they allow you to run a 35. So we're gonna have to run this setup for a little while because we did just put 33s on here. Uh, the AEV stuff came out like right after I bought the 33s, and I was like, no. So we're gonna run them for a little while, and this is kind of my plan. It's not completely butchered, but it doesn't look the best. I'll tidy it up a little bit, but you know, that's kind of the provisions you got to make sometimes when you're going to run these big wheels. Just be prepared for a little plastic trimming. Now, in the front, we're good to go, boys. I don't see any kind of rubbing issues up front. So, I don't think your front bumper is going to need any attention. I think it's all just going to be right here on this plastic piece. So, there you go, boys. There's how you're going to trim if you want to run 33s. You don't have to completely gut the thing like a fish, but you will want to come across. Now, I probably could have. I came at a little bit of an angle here. I could have come straight across a little bit neater, but I was just kind of mocking this up because this flare has a little damage from where I bought it. You can see it's scuffed up. Previous owner, I don't know what he got into, but he got into something. And uh, I'll be replacing this flare anyway. So this is kind of just a good feeler to just see if it'll even work. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and uh, probably gonna have to catch you guys in the morning. And we're gonna do a little, uh, test on this thing, a little flex test, and we'll see if she's got enough clearance. All right, guys, so I didn't really get to film the rest of that outro. Uh, the storm moved in, but I was able to go ahead and do a flex test the other day. Everything checked out good, um, even at full lock, all the little places in between, flexed out in the ditch, did pretty good. This weekend, I will be uh, working on the light bar, so I'm gonna be filming that, and I'll have a video to follow, and uh, also we're gonna talk about a couple things on the trip, uh, some mountain bike updates, and some cool stuff we're gonna do in Telluride. So with that one, I'm gonna cap it off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you uh, like what you see, be sure and subscribe. Hit the bell while you're at it. You're gonna get notified every time we upload. So uh, thank you guys. I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.